So good morning, Mr. Alpha. How are you good doing morning. this morning? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank awesome, you. Awesome, awesome. Good. And we are on your banana farm this morning, and you yeah. will be giving us a tour. Yeah. All right. So for the viewers and subscribers, just to let you know that we are in the island of the Bahamas and that this is Mr. Alpha, the farm owner, and he will be giving us a tour and we'll have a conversation as we go through. So stick and stay for that. All right. So Mr. Alpha, tell us how you got started in farming, first of all. I started in farming over here for the past, I think, about 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. Yes. And uh, because I was in the field of heavy equipment. I used to own heavy equipment. Okay. But after, I think, um, the, the fall of the economy, I decided mm -hmm. to pack up and uh, go into farming full time. Okay, okay. Uh, but there is a lot of challenges mm -hmm. in farming over here because this place is prone to hurricane. Yes. And when you say so, over here, just for clarity, you're referring to the Bahamas. Uh, because you are from St. Lucia. Lucia. Yes. yes. Okay. And what happened is that, um, let us say like sometimes every three years, mm -hmm. we'll have a heavy hurricane, a solid one. Wow. Right? That, especially with Hurricane Dorian. Yes. It was all a disaster, wipe off completely. Yes, yes. So it takes me three years to get yeah. me back to that stage. Mm -hmm with mm -hmm. the help of nobody at all. Oh my God. Yes. Awesome. So I am trying my best, struggling mm -hmm. on my own. Yes. To see what I can do again. Mm -hmm. All right. It has been rough and tough, but I am trying. Okay. Awesome. And we're looking at the farm and it's beautiful. So you're saying it took you um, roughly three years to get it back to this stage? Yes. Wow. And that is only about half of it. Mm -hmm. I. I am cultivating right now. Okay, okay. So, in another location, you have bananas in another location, no, or only this, this is location it? location alone. Okay, okay. So, apart from bananas, what other crops do you plant? Vegetables. I plant all kind of vegetables. Okay, okay. Tomatoes, cabbage, mm -hmm. beets, a whole lot of different things. Oh, wow, you do beets yes, as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I notice under the banana trees, in Jamaica, we call those cocoa. I don't know yes, if that's the same yes. name that is used no, in the Bahamas. No, St. Lucia, we call it Tanya, and in the Bahamas, they call it Eddies. Okay, say that again. So in St. Lucia... We call this Tanya in St. Lucia. Tanya in St. Lucia. Yes. Um, yeah. In Jamaica, it is called Coco. Coco. Yes. In the Bahamas, it is called Eddies. In St. Lucia, it is called Tan Tanya. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> yes. But, yes. Yeah, but it is not a big seller in, in the Bahamas. Okay. It is not a big seller. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of it. I have thousands of um, these same eddies or cocoa mm -hmm. or tanya, however mm -hmm. you learn to call it. I, okay. Yeah, but it is not a big seller. Okay. Right. Um, how do you... Um, so when you... It's not a big seller, but you have people who do buy it. Yes, definitely. Okay, what do um, they use it for? The, the Jamaicans just buy it, a lot of it, really? and the Haitians. Oh, yeah. Yes, because we have a big Haitian community in the Bahamas. Okay. And Jamaicans as well. Okay, okay. So back home, yes. I know we use the cocoa for soup. Yeah. Um, is it, well, we use it for pretty much like, it's, so it's a starch that can go yeah. with, you know, your protein, but predominantly we use it for soup. Is that the same thing here too? Yes, they, they use it for soup as, as well. Okay. Um, Bahamians use it, but not as much as um, the okay. other foreign nationals. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. All right. So in terms of your bananas though, Mr. Alpha, how do you, um, is it that you... When you reap, is it for export or for domestic? Um, it is only for domestic use only alone. For, okay. Yeah. So you sell to places such as? Okay, I would sell sometimes to the food stores mm -hmm. and um, the locals come right here and buy it. Mm -hmm. So I doesn't even have chance to get Transport. on the street with it. Oh, they find you. It is, yes, it is in... It is in demand. Mm -hmm. There is a high demand for bananas, for bananas. in the in the um, Bahamas. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah. Wow. And I notice you have okra as well on the farm. Yes. Well, the okra 
um, although I was not, not the one who planted the workers, planted these okros. Yes. Right. But again, um, it came, it is very nice, so mm -hmm. it's all right with me okay. for now. Okay. Right. Okay. And what type of dishes do they use the okra in here? I know at home in Jamaica, we use it for steamed fish. Some people may put it in soup. Is that the just same thing? Just the same thing. thing. Just same the same thing. way. Just wanted to yes. check that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just the same thing. Right. So what yeah. types of bananas are these? These are William hybrid. William hybrid. Yeah. It's a hybrid banana. Mm-hmm. They have, I think they have that all over the Caribbean. Okay, okay. It's the same, the same thing with Jamaica. Okay. So we still have Robusta, mm -hmm. William Hybrid. Yes. These are the two best ones for the Caribbean. Okay. Right. You might get a few Gravandish. Yes. It's all mixed up, but yeah. most of what I have there is yes. William Hybrid. Okay, okay. So I'm looking at this soil and it's mostly, I see a lot of stones. Talk to us about this soil. What um, soil type is best suited for planting bananas in the Bahamas? Okay, all right. What happened, you'll see here there is a difference with soil on the um other farms or mm -hmm. on other islands. Mm -hmm. The reason why, um, when I had heavy equipments mm -hmm. and I decided to go into farming, yes, uh, I used to, when I go and clear down people's property, yes, I used to take the soil and come and dump it here. Oh, okay. Right? So you will see, well, that's a hill, it is rising. Yes. Right? And I, over here, mm -hmm. I have about um, 12 feet of soil. 12 feet of soil. Yes, so you could see that is soil, yes. woods and stones. It's, it's a, it's a so, big area of composed material. Okay, okay. That is what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is very much fertile. Okay. Because I, I don't really use fertilizer as such because right. um, it, it creates its own fertilizer mm -hmm. because it's comp it's all composed. Right, I get you. So because of that, I don't use that much fertilizer. Yes. Yeah. Um, wow. Now, uh, the space here mm -hmm. in between the bananas. Yes. Right. It, I plant them eight feet apart. Okay. The reason why is um, to control mm -hmm. the yellow soga toga disease, oh. as you can see. Yes. Right, to control these, right? Oh. So if I cut them, mm -hmm. right, uh, do not allow it to spread too far. Okay. So I would keep trimming them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, well, this year I haven't had my own um, solution mm -hmm. because I'm so busy trying to bring back the farm. Okay. But. Uh, what I use to control it mm -hmm. is the, um, I make an, a solution out of the, the banana itself. Like I would um, cut this. Yes. I would cut this. Right. Mm -hmm. I would cut this and into pieces. Yes. Put it in the water to soak. Right. Right. For about three months. Wow. With um, the seaweed, mm -hmm. right? Then I would take a little Epsom salts and put in there. Yes. And molasses, uh -huh. right? The molasses would soften the leaf for me so that um, the solution, mm -hmm. the tree could absorb it properly. Okay. So in applying it, you the solution, you just, where do no, you put it? Then I would use a mist blower. Mm -hmm to blow the leaves, Oh. to spray it on. Okay, so it's the leaves that you spray? Yes, I'll okay. spray the leaves. Okay. Right, to control the, the leaf spot disease. Yes, leaf spot disease. Yes. Okay, right. wow. Uh, because um, if I have to, let's say in just a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. if I can't control it, yes. then the whole, the whole field will be all gone. Oh my. Yes, because it will be attacking from one leaf to the next. To the other. And this will, affects the growth of the bananas? Yes, it stops the growth of the banana. Oh. Premature banana. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And a whole lot of different problems. Okay. So okay. I have to keep it in check. Yes, yeah, so it's important yes. that you do your spraying yes. with the yes. solution. With this variety mm -hmm. here, um, 
the sugar banana. Sugar banana. Yes, that is what we call sugar banana okay. over here. Okay. And in St. Lucia, we would call this um, here. In St. Lucia, we call this macambo. Okay? This macambo. is a macambo. Yeah. And in um, over here, they would call it hog banana. I don't know how hog. they call it. Hog? Hog banana. Oh. Or right. hog. Hog. Hog, hog banana. As in pig. Oh, I see. Yes. Hog banana. Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now this one here, right, is the purple banana. I brought this plant from St. Lucia. Yes. Yes. When we get, when we go higher up, I'll show you what it is like. Okay. And I have a shorter variety, mm -hmm. right? I got from over here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So, yes. Yeah, so I will show you a little more about the 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 sugar banana. Sugar banana. Okay. Well, just lately mm -hmm. I had there was a little a heavy wind about I think that was about between 45 to 50 miles per hour wind. Really? Yes, just about um about 2 months ago. Yes. And most of these bananas was down. Wow. Yeah. Now, this is not the proper way of um growing bananas. Yes. But being these are sugar bananas, mm -hmm. and they're very much, they, uh, they can resist the temperature very, very well. Yes. Right? So I allow it to grow so because we have plan of um, utilizing another 500 acres of mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. So I'm badly in need of the plants. That is why I am leaving it there. As is. As is, yes. yes. Okay. Right? Okay. So soon from now, Mm -hmm. We we will be preparing an order five hundred acres. Yes. For bananas, pineapple, yeah. and a whole lot of different things. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. So in terms of um, the banana plant, tell us how it is that you would start in terms of the preparation from the moment you start planting the banana to the preparation process. How you have to take care of it. Talk to us about that. Okay. Up to reaping, of course. First thing, after preparing the land, mm -hmm. you do your layouts, you prepare the field, mm -hmm. and then you start putting down the plants. Yes. Right? You make sure your irrigations are in place, mm -hmm. right? And uh, um, then you start planting. Yes. From there, it all depends if you want to use fertilizer. Okay. Uh, you will do some soil tests to see mm -hmm. what it is like, what your pH level is and everything. Okay. Right? And then you take it on from there. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you decide, well, you check the market to see what um, amount of bananas that they consume in the Bahamas. Right. Right? And then you take it on from there. Okay, okay, okay. Is it a profitable business? It is a profitable business, yes, yeah. it is. Okay. So uh, you, you mostly sell green bananas. Do you do ripe bananas as well? Only green bananas. Only green bananas. Yeah, I would sell them green. Okay, okay. Because I have somewhere to... I have a ripening mm -hmm. um, shed. Yes. But it is not all that prepared as yet. Okay. Right, because I'm still watching these hurricanes and, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah, but with the 500 acres, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. It will not be, it is, it belongs to a corporation mm -hmm. that I happen to put together myself. Okay. Right. Yes. And we Talk are, to us about that some more. Yes. Mm -hmm. The corporation is like that. Um, every, we would like every member. Mm hmm of on Grand Bahama, everybody, we would like them to be um, part owner of the farm. Yes. And a shareholder. Mm -hmm. We starting with about, um, it's $145 yes. per person. Mm -hmm. And with that, it comes with two shares. And you only pay that once, but your shares, you could keep adding on your shares. You could buy oh. more shares. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to have a, um, a, 
a store a big storage complex mm -hmm. where that we can also sell from there and yes. everything okay awesome so we will be growing all kind of different mm -hmm. produce right and just name it would like to do that okay awesome so is this cooperative um you mentioned is it just for farmers just farmers or other persons who wants to it be? is for everybody for everybody yes because there is not enough farmers mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. to run a cooperative oh i see because it's farming not is farmers. not prevalent in no. the bahamas no it is not a prevalent um project in the bahamas okay okay i see yeah i see so um what i am doing i am actually encouraging people mm -hmm. into farming yes especially whilst um other countries some of them mm -hmm. is very much interested in war mm -hmm. we ourselves we are very much interested in growing our own food yes right yes. so that um it would prevent us if there is a catastrophic, mm -hmm. right? We ourselves would try to save our own people. Yes, without okay? depending without on depending imports. on the importation mm -hmm. uh, from other countries. Okay, awesome. Okay? Yes, right. awesome. So this is what I am really working on right yes. now. Yes, yes, great. Yes. So ultimately so. you want to have a complex from which you can sell the produce yes not just bananas not just bananas right. just name it all kind of food whatever we can grow yes 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 okay. i just received an amount of 50 breadfruit plants wow yes, yes. about 50 breadfruit plants mm -hmm. and uh, i would like to grow that in the bahamas as well yes and to bring in much more than that wow okay yes because for the past 26 years i've been living here mm -hmm. it don't make sense for me to say well, let me go somewhere else and start all over again yes yes right you want to so, stay and build and yes, add something yes yes right. that is what i really want to do awesome okay yes. now this area this whole area here mm -hmm. i'm going it's getting old and i'm going to push it down mm -hmm. uh, to transplant it in new okay right starting from here uh -huh. This area here to go all the way back. Okay. So that is why you see, you will see it is not looking okay. um, the way it's supposed to. Right. Right. Okay. Now, this is the banana I was telling you about, the purple one. Oh. Okay. Yes. Right. This is what it looked like. Mm hmm Nice. Right. Now, this is a plant from St. Lucia. Okay. I brought this one from St. Lucia. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I I don't really know the name for it. Okay. But I would rather because it came from St. Lucia. Yes. All right. I would call it the Lucian brand. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's all I could call it. Okay, it's great. It's a Lucian brand. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, um, this one is a sugar banana, eh? as because from down here, this whole field there yes. is sugar bananas <laughs> here. Mm -hmm. And it is a big seller here as well. Okay. It is very much in demand mm -hmm. in the Bahamas. It is a sugar very banana. sweet banana. Yes. Yeah, it's very sweet. Oh, I see why they call it yes. sugar banana. So they call it sugar banana. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Wow. Now, um, here are the makambu, mm -hmm. right, which we eat. They call better known as hog banana. Hog banana. Hog yes. banana. Yes. Yeah. It is very much in demand because um, the Haitians love it. Okay. Yes, and there is a lot of Haitians in the Bahamas. Yes. So I it, and it sell mm -hmm. even more than the regular banana. Oh. Yes. Yes. It's a big. So they seller. really love that one. Yes, be, um, because. It, and it is very high mm -hmm. in iron as well. Okay, okay. It's very high in iron. Yes. So they know about it very well. Mm -hmm. So they would go, go for it. Okay. Yeah. What type is this one? Is it one that you showed us yes, earlier that is the there? Same, that is the same hog banana. Okay. It looks so, somewhat like plantain though when you look at it. No, I have plantain as well. You have plantain as well? Yes, I have plantain as well. Okay. Okay, so you are just saying that you have plantains as well. Yes, I'll show you the plantains when I get back. Okay, okay. Um, there is, I have about, maybe about four different varieties of plantain. Oh, wow. There was two I brought from St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. um, 
one is grows about a hundred pounds mm -hmm. and the other one is about 50 pounds. Wow. Yes. Now, um, what happened is that I almost lose it. Yes. I almost lose them mm -hmm. in, the, in the hurricane oh. because the seawater re um, was all down there, mm -hmm. not too far from right down there. Okay. There was seawater, yes. but it did not get to the top. Yes. But the sea blast, right, was able to destroy a lot of um, my crops. Oh, um, talk yeah. to us about what is, what is the sea blast? The salt from the sea, mm -hmm. from the ocean. Yes. Right? When, when it blows, it would blow all over and destroy everything. Yes. Oh. Yes. Now, that doesn't mean it's close. We are not, I'm not that close to the ocean. Mm -hmm. But the place is flat. Yes. It's actually Very level. Very flat. Yes. Because we're yes. just going around the Bahamas. I realized that it's a lot of flat land. A lot of. In fact, I've not seen a hill. The whole place is flat. Yes. The whole place is flat. <laughs> yes. So like um, the, the hurricane mm -hmm. would say, okay, well, we could take advantage. There's nothing to break it down. Yes. Right? The little trees are nothing, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Yeah. And you were greatly impacted by the hurricane because you would oh, have yes. lost everything. I lost everything. Right. As all, my, all the processing mm -hmm. machine, all was gone. Oh, wow. Everything is gone. And I, I, I'm unable to replace it up to now. Yes. Yes. Oh, my. Yeah, that's a friend of mine. Hello. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yes. Um, now, I would like to tell you as you get here, yes. I would like, um, you could come because um, he's my, my, my B partner. Okay. Right? Um, we also I, um, have, we, we keep bees as well. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Interesting. So then, now, I had a solid blow with the bees because mm -hmm. I'm very busy. <laughs> so the bee wax went in and destroyed 18 of my hives. Oh my. Yeah. Wow, that's a so, lot. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Lucky I lucky I am doing something there in a while I'll be with you. Yeah, my go ahead. Yes. yes. I can walk around a bit. Yes, no problem. Okay, okay. Well Mr. Alpha, yes. you seem to in a um in an island that does not practice farming on a wide scale, you seem to have captured so much, you know, the bananas, the planting, the vegetables, and yes, now you're mentioning yes, that you are into yes, bee farming yes. as well. Yeah. You love farming. Yes, I love farming. Yes. I love farming. Yes. I'm addicted to farming. Yes. <laughs> you right. Yes. So I am, I'm hoping that one day mm -hmm. I make farming look like something in the Bahamas. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, yeah. I, I really wish to do that. Yes. Because I'm here already. Mm -hmm. I can't run away from it. Yeah. I can say I'm a Bahamian after 26 years yeah. living in the Bahamas. Yeah, you could say. Yes. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So in terms of the um, planting of bananas, are there other farms that you know of in the Bahamas that does banana planting? No, not really. Wow. Not really. Wow. Um, this is the largest, mm -hmm. I would say, in Grand Bahama. Yes. Yes. Right. And I don't think the other islands have that much bananas either. Mm -hmm. um, although I believe Andras might have a, a good bit as well. Okay. Yes. Um, ultimately, because you talk about farming so much and we can hear your passion for it. Yeah. Um, ultimately, what is your vision? I know, I know you said earlier that you know you want to have farming look like something in the Bahamas. Talk yeah. to us about your vision. Ultimately, what would you want to see for farming in the what, Bahamas? What I would like to see mm -hmm. for farming in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. being we a black nation, mm -hmm. and that is part of our culture. Yes. I would like us to stick to our culture, right? And for us not to imitate um, that kind of lifestyle, which is not mm -hmm. too much in our benefit, which is very much our, uh, against our own health. Yes. It is very much the lifestyle over here mm -hmm. is very much our, against our own existence mm -hmm. because we are eating too much fertilized food and it is causing a problem, mm -hmm. a health problem. Right now, we have a big rate of cancer mm -hmm. and diabetes, yes. which we can control. We can do better yes. if we make up our, mi our mind mm -hmm. to get together and fight it 
Yes. We will be able to fight it. Right, right. Stay away from all these fast foods, mm -hmm. right? Because the fast foods are the number one contributor of diabetes mm -hmm. and cancer. Yes. Right? Now, we know that for sure. Mm -hmm. So what I am doing, I would like to show the people we can do better. Yes. We can definitely do better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So I am, I am taking the initiative to say, well, okay, let, let, let me go ahead. Yes. And do what I can. Yes. To save my people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a start. Yes. So that yes. is a start right here. Right. Right. That mm -hmm. is what I would like to do. Okay. If persons watching the video and yeah. they will see you want to get interested yes. in farming. Yes. How? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. All right. The easiest way of getting to me is the phone. Okay. One, two, four, two, three, seven, five, seven, six, thirty three. Alpha, A-L-P-H-A. -A. Awesome, Mr. Alpha. And of course, we will place that number on the screen of this video and also in the video description. So you want to reach out to Mr. Alpha to talk about farming, to really just commend him on the job that he's doing, or to form a collaboration or somewhat, just reach out to Mr. Alpha. Thank you so much, Mr. Alpha. Thank you. Um, for that. And you are supposed to show us the planting as well. Yes, let's go. I'll show you the planting. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. And I must commend you, Mr. Alpha. I like what I see. I love the passion you have for farming. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I can tell you, the sun is very, very hot. Yes, the sun. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you do it. <laughs> yes. Well, because of the, my irrigation system. Yes. I have water. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, in the Caribbean, I would say. Yes. Um, we have the most water in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Yes. And our soil is not acidic. We doesn't have, it's a non-acidic soil. Mm -hmm. So you could grow whatever you want. Yes. Um, in the Bahamas. Yes. Because um, the soil, every drop of rain that fall on the ground is mm -hmm. preserved. Yeah. Every drop of rain is preserved. Wow. Yeah, it's the all, it's naturally preserved. Yes. Because it goes down mm -hmm. um, in the ground and uh, um, there is no river here. Yes. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. the water, right, will filtrate through the ground, mm -hmm. through the soil, and it stays right there. Oh. Right. Now, maybe after about 40 feet if you have to drill about 40 feet yes. you're going to hit the salt water mm -hmm. right so the fresh water will remain on top yes and the salt water is underneath right so you'll get it the water mm -hmm. little brackish it is not enough salt to really hamper your your plants okay what do you mean by brackish when when i say it's brackish it is between um, it have a little salt right. and a little freshness. Okay, in between. It's, it's balanced. In, in, yeah, it's yeah. balanced. Okay, okay. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, so how long does it take for the banana to, from the time you plant it, how long does it take to, you know, come into maturity okay. for reaping? Um, it, it would give, take me about nine months to a year okay. for harvesting. Okay, okay. Yes, that is... But if I want to mm. push it more than that, mm -hmm. to, well, I can. Okay, you know how to do it. Yes, for I it know to how to do faster. it. Yes, for okay. faster. So in that case, Mr. Alpha, it means that you would plant different crops. So they, you have bananas coming in year long. Yes, I, I, does, I, I does have bananas year round. Right, because that's the time that you plant it. Yes, okay. yes, year round. I see. Okay, awesome. Okay. Okay. Now, um going to show you the planting the different varieties of planting okay yeah um the hundred pounds i told you mm -hmm. i only managed to have one mm -hmm. uh which it's about eight months now okay now this planting would bear maybe about after a year or between a year Mm -hmm. Anyway, around there. Okay. Right. Okay. N and whilst you'll get this, like the horn planting, mm -hmm. this a uh, horn planting, right? Oh, horn. Yes. They look like horn. That's why they call them yes. that. <laughs> they resemble yes. horns. <laughs> right. right. 
So it looked like cow horn, so yeah. they call it horn plantain. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. And I see you have cane too. Yes. Um, <laughs> I have quite a bit of cane on the other side as well. Okay, you plant them throughout the farm? Yeah, throughout okay. the farm. Awesome. Uh, I want to show you, I have the 50 pounds over there. Right. Right. So the horn one would be the 100 pounds? Yes. Okay. Right. The plantains are mixed up. Eh? This is a plantain right here. Okay. This is another plantain. Okay. Right, which I harvest already. Yes. Yeah. And what I am doing, um, to maintain the quality, mm -hmm. I would deflower the bananas, you know? Oh, you deflower them? Yes, Meaning I would deflower that? them. Right, break off the flowers. Oh. Right, so that um, you oh. would have a better, a better quality. A better, and it have a better texture than um, the Chiquita brand mm -hmm. and the other brand like Dole Chiquita and all of them. Okay. This one is much better. Okay, and this one is fit right now. This one could be reaped or um, it's not ready yet. It's only ready for boiling, not for ripening. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking you down there. Okay. So from what I'm seeing and based on what you have been explaining so far, Mr. Alpha, I I can see that it takes a lot of work to Yeah, it takes a lot of yes, work. Yes, because deflowering. So yeah. in terms of labor, how is that for you? Well um additional, uh, you know, getting people to work. Um I can get workers because uh all I have to do is request to the immigration. Okay. That I and I would have to prove it to them. Right. And then I would have a field inspection. Mm -hmm. Right. The I would have to um, request to the labor department as well. Okay. It has been properly controlled. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, so. It is not a matter of you just say, well, okay, I want X amount of workers and you'll get it. No. Okay. They have no. to come in and do an they, assessment. Yes, an assessment okay. will be taken first. Mm -hmm. Okay, right? great. And then you take it on from there. Okay, understand. Yes. Oopsie. I'll show you one of my hives there. Okay. That is all gone. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is the this would be a 50 pound plantain. Okay. Right. Now this this one came from St. Lucia. Yeah? Yes, this one came from St. Lucia. Oh. And this is what that is the uh what I was telling you. Mhm. Mm and the other one is all the way in the back. Yes. Which we might not have time to go to that. Okay. 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 Yeah. But looking at this, if I, if you didn't tell me it was a plantain, I would think that it's a banana. No, that's a plantain. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. It's a plantain. Yes. And this type is what again? The name of it? This one is a 50 pound. It is 50 pound. Mm -hmm. And there is another one which can go about 100 pounds. Okay. That one is the horn one. No, this is a different variety. Right, the horn one is the one that goes the horn, to 100. No, the ho you, that was only go about between 30 and 40 pounds. Oh, okay, 30 and 40 pounds for the yes. horn plantains. Yeah, okay. so I have quite a few of these. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have quite a few of these. I have the dwarf plantain. Okay. I have, and the horn, the dwarf, the 50 and the 100, four mm -hmm. different varieties. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yes. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So right here now, mm -hmm. um, this is one of my hives that have been destroyed oh. by the by the wax moth. Oh. Right. If you can see, right. Oh. It was a big colony. Yes. Right, and the wax moth get in there and destroy it. Okay, so the wax, what is that that you're referring to? The wax moth, you said? Yeah, it's a moth. Um, it's an, uh, oh. an, uh, an insect, like um, a butterfly-like, but oh. it is not a butterfly. Right. Right, and the, um, this is what it does. Right, so what it does, it goes in there, mm -hmm. and it drinks, and it lays eggs right in here. Oh. Right. 
I see, and then see? eventually damage the. Yes. All the all the comb is is damaged yes. and the bees have to leave because and find somewhere else to go. Okay. So how do right. you prevent that from and, happening? And I is there lose a way? I lose eighteen of them this oh, year. Wow. Right. So is there a way to prevent um, that type of insect? from yes, getting into it yes you can prevent it by inspecting it every week okay okay but that's being, why i was kind of spread out a little too thin yes you mentioned so, you were busy yes okay okay but wow. this is that was they are new hives mm -hmm. new boxes everything but yeah i can see that i, I end up in losing it okay so um later this same year mm -hmm. i will have to go back hunting again right to start again yes to start again yeah i i goes out hunting bees mm -hmm. people call me mm -hmm. if the um the house might be attacked by bees oh so i would go and get the bees uh -huh. and put them in the boxes okay great right now yeah. this place um is infested with bees mm -hmm. it is it by is this place you mean Grand Bahama. Grand ba okay. Grand Bahama is infested with right. bees. So it is not a problem in me getting bees again. Oh, okay. Right. I see. So right. I can get bees again. Easily. <laughs> yeah, easily. <laughs> yes. I can just leave here now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to collect bees. Wow. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah. And but. Okay. So. So that concludes our tour. Yes. 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 So it thank was, you so much, Mr. Alpha. Yes, thank Alpha. you very much as well. Right. For sharing um, with I us. I appreciate your presence around yes. today. Thank you. We appreciate I, you for allowing us to be given this tour. Yes. You know. Okay. Yes. So it thank was, you so much. It was very nice. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, okay. Right. Thank you. Good. So please remember to like, share, subscribe and to hit that post notification bell and we see you next time. Blessings.